the video again. I'm sorry. I had to check the map because, you know, I did not want to be Little Bo Peep lost in the forest over here. You know, trying to get to this, uh, going down to Marcone, Miami to meet up with one of my employees that I uh, had on pickup duty. And I'm sure he's hit everything. That's one thing I like about him. I give my employees keys, car, credit card, you know, because if you're going to move like a business, you need to move like a big one. That way they ain't got to worry about gas when they got to stop and pick up something. Like he had to do some runs with Home Depot. He got the card. He got he knows to put it all on the pro account. You know, we move a certain way. I manage my business like a business. And that means that a lot of times I don't eat meaning, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to live off my business. What I'm trying to do is continue to feed the business so it can grow. And the thing with business, like I keep telling you guys, business credit is the fire. But if you can't manage your personal expenses, there's no way you're going to be able to manage a business expense. And, you, and you're not going to do it overnight. You just got to discipline yourself. Because remember, this you, this your retirement plan, this your generational wealth. Hey, y'all got to excuse me because I don't know what's going on. I know I pay my taxes. I have no idea why 95 is, I'm riding on, I feel like I'm on dog on Rocky Mountain had to get on a smoother road because that's not good for video so like i said you know um gotta get your business credit on point and there are too many youtube videos and too much information on google for y'all to be asking this for now of course i have a link i'm gonna start putting those links on my videos i just haven't yet because i need to be able to dedicate the time because everything I do I'm funny I want my stuff to be right I can't be affiliated with drama and half ass and mediocrity that's just not my uh -uh. cause you end up paying for that later honey that'd be like everything you do Like, right? cause let me tell you something a wise person said the way you do one thing is how you do everything keep that in mind so I am a long way from perfect in fact, in fact I'm sitting here as soon as I get off the uh video with y'all. I'm calling my sister. I'm getting ready to pimp her to, to place an order at Whole Foods or Instacart. And of course, you know how you bribe them. You gotta say, yo, throw you some in the cart too. Hand, hand. Cause she's a baby. She's the baby. My sister's 40 some years old. She always gonna be the baby. I mean, just like a baby. But I'm gonna call her see if she can place that order for me because I'm out of avocado, alfalfa, uh, sprouts, and uh, asparagus along with tomato. Those are the things that I actually eat. Like right now I got some, let's see. Did I chomp this down yet? Got some strawberry, um, things like that, all fresh. I'll, that's all I during the day when I'm driving. The only thing I eat, I very rarely stop to get like a meal with any meat or anything. Cause that's what I mean about being clear headed. See, you gotta understand the fuel you put in your body the fuel you put in your mind, the the thought process, the you know un, you know unclean and carnal stuff, you know like I said, that's what's wrong with America, man. Y'all too busy listening to that 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 that, you know, while somebody making a million dollars off of brainwashing you and lowering your vibration and your mentality, you know. But look, that's a that's another video. How do I know? Because every time I feel like dropping the hot and I start bouncing them and I'm on, you know, uh, 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 on the radio, I don't forgot what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I'm over here, over there. And that's really not what I want to portray. Now, I'm not saying you can't relax, but I feel it's a time for all of that. Pick your time and place. That's the key. That's how you got to look at it, you know? So, anyway... Like I was in my previous video, I was talking about key performance indicators. And I was talking about how I build my parts and my labor to the warranty company because I treat the warranty company just like a regular customer. You know, I control that flow because if you don't, it will run you over. I hear guys all the time out of breath. Oh, they want me to go here. They want me to. No, 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 no. Do you run the business or does the business run you? And the only way you're going to run that business is you got to get out here and what they call it boots on the ground you got to be in the thick of it then you can make the executive decisions and you tailor and structure your business into where you the way you want it to go i have a very clear plan but you better believe i have a clear plan but you better believe i got plan b and c too because you know what they say 
plans are meant to be changed and broken. I can't see the future, but I can definitely prepare for the worst and the best. But that comes to holding myself accountable, personally, professionally, you know, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Not to mention physically. I mean, I'm losing a little weight. Uh, boy, I'm telling y'all, y'all better watch out. But anyway, let me get to these key points and I'm going to start playing with y'all. Number one, I cannot preach enough about this business credit. Yeah, everybody should have some starter accounts. You know, Quill, Uline, Granger. I think you can get something from Sherwin Williams, Home Depot. Used to be Supply Works. They changed to Home Depot Industrial. Um, there's a lot of them. Then you better get a gas card. I keep telling y'all, y'all better go to Wex, Fuel Man, and get a gas card. All these things. I mean, you're going to put gas in the car anywhere, or the van or the truck. So why not make it work for you? Like, none of this makes sense to me. I mean, like, we're all intelligent people. And you need to, before you even open a business, you need to handle this. Get your stuff in order. Because when you have a business, you do not want that on your credit. And if you do put it on your credit, it is a personal guarantee. As soon as you hit six months, you better split it. Get off of it. I'm telling y'all what I know, man. I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes. You think I just showed up this way? Brilliant. And and, and popping collars and, and getting it done. No, Miss Ward, this, no, no, no. It was many years of failure. Many years of being afraid to leave a job because it really was a crutch, but I didn't realize it. I mean, this, one thing about my channel is solid stuff. The wealth, I am telling you facts and truth. I have no reason to lie to you. And that's how I'm going to build my credibility with my um, my followers. I want everyone to be successful. But the only way you're going to do that is you're going to have to get out here and grind. And you're going to have to grind with blinders on. Now, not too many blinders you can't, you know, stick and move and adjust. But at the end of the day, you're meant to be successful. Don't let anyone take that from you. And look, well, you know what I say? I'm not going to take this because I didn't create this saying. I heard this years ago from Porsche Fox in Atlanta. Let your haters be motivators. All right, y'all, I'm going to have to end this video because y'all cousins is two primos is doing the most over here in Miami on this highway. They are doing entirely too much. So with that said, I'm going to sign off. Like I said, reach for the stars. Get all y'all need to get. Solid steppers. Man, you know what? This is why I can't do them. This fool. This is what I'm talking about, Miami. Now, you know how... What's the word I'm looking for? We have what they call a... Um, they all doing it. See? They out of control. I can't. <laughs> y'all, I'm trying. Y'all, pray for me. Because right now, I'm, I'm watching the next accident getting ready to happen. So there's a blockage on 95, right? So it's slowed down. So y'all cousins, you know, the distant ones, they got to ride over the rubber, I guess they're rubber-like poles, and drunk their ass over in the express lane. Wait, I mean, I'm just waiting on the crash to burn. You wasn't in the damn lane. There's a special interest to get in that lane, but they're going to just drive. It's like a $185, $200 fine, but do you think these people care? Do they not understand Big Brother's watching, cameras everywhere, but hey, it ain't me, so hey, it's crazy though. It just lets you know how people have no regard for laws and structure and discipline. This is why I know I'm going to be extremely successful, because I'm a rarity. I know I'm rare, but now that y'all got the undercover lecture for the day, now that I did my stretch, and then I got to do the, yeah, y'all love to see. Cause y'all know my dude. Let me tell you something. The job I got in for last night, it was an emergency situation. I didn't get home to 10 30 p.m. I had left home at seven something. So when I say I'm putting it in, I'm putting it in, but I'm telling you, I'm expediting my stuff. All right, y'all. I'm gonna have to pay attention to the road because um, folks is out of control. All right, solid steppers. I'm gonna hit you later. Have a great day.